Boom dia, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi and the goats on the back that you're hearing, I don't know their names. Jessa gave the names. And today's short TA video, short update about what we see in Bitcoin, what is happening to the charts and what we can expect next. So let's quickly jump into the charts and maybe even Kayo is going to pass by and say something, but let's see the first chart. Bam. Cause the devil's on my trail I've been running so long Here we have the first chart. Amazing chart, guys. If we take a look at this chart, we can see these beautiful, colorful levels of Fibonacci. And like we can see in 2017, that beautiful run over here, I need to draw. We found support of that 1.618 level over there. And after that, we went up and we broke that red level over there, the 2.618. And then we went up to the 4.236 level. And then we took this huge run to the top. Now, what do we see in today's chart? In today's chart, we see, of course, the same. We found support at that beautiful level of 1.618. Now, we are about to break this level over there, about 2.618. If we break that level, look to the left over here, what happened? That can take some days as a day chart. Then we will go to the top of that level, which is at 63k, and then maybe even to that red level at 75k, and then maybe we get rejected again downwards. Like you can see, we fall from the 75k all the way back almost to that red level again. So up, wait, up, bam, down, and then bam, up that huge run that is what it looked like in 2017 and that huge run let's calculate that huge run that went from the top of that line to the bull run top 348 percent so if we would now calculate the top of that line 348 percent uh, over there somewhere like 350 that would be 300,000 US dollar. I'm not saying that we are going to go to 300,000 US dollar. I am saying that if we copy 2017, we could go to 300,000 US dollar. The most important part of this one is that we found support at the 1.618 level, and now we try to break that 2.618 level. And that is what is happening up now. And mostly you get some resistance because if you look to the charts to the left on this chart, guys, you can see, of course, here. We broke the level, and you have support on the level. Do you see it? And then when you break it, you go to the next level. Now, we are fighting resistance there. If we break that, we are going up, and we are testing that again as a support. That is how it mostly works into the charts. Let's jump into the next chart. Bam, over here. This is the also the day chart. I'm zooming out today, not freaking out. Yes, I drew that yellow line a few weeks ago, a week ago, I think, and we went up to the 200 day moving average. We broke the downward trend line. Now we are breaking a 200 day moving average. The moment we break that 200 day moving average and close the candle above that, that's going to happen in 16 hours and 50 minutes. If we are lucky and we close about 45,000 US dollar, then again, that is a very bullish sign. If we look back to the left in the charts, every time when we close above that 200 day moving average, over here, for example, we got that huge bull run. Over there, we got a small run. Over there, we got a small run. So every time that happens, it is an important event. And that's, I think, again, going to be an important event now as well. We can also be rejected. Be aware. If we are rejected by that 200-day moving average, I think we could fall back down to this support line now over here at 42K. But let's stay bullish. Let's stay bullish. Let's go all the way here to 49k that would be really cool bam next chart and then this chart would be playing out that i already made like a long time ago because i told you guys over there 
the moment we saw that death cross, the price will be going up from that moment. We saw the death cross, and yes, from that moment, the price is going to go up. It took 34 days, 34 days, to close the candle above that red day moving average, the 200. Now, it took 50 days to close almost that candle above that area. So, it can take a little bit longer for this green line to come up and cross that red line. And then you get a golden cross. And that again will be another acceleration in the Bitcoin price to the upside. Also, really cool chart. Next one, bam, the weekly. Very important, zooming out a little bit more. We can see at the bottom, guys, over here, the stock RSI, this one on the bottom, that is going into the blue box, hugely. That is very positive, but there is still upward movements possible over there, all the way up to the level of 100. We are closing this candle in five days. The previous candle closed above the EMA ribbon, which is really positive. This one is high above it. Now we will go to that white line around 50k. And then we need to break that white line again. That is on the weekly chart. And in the weekly chart, bam, we have been looking at the Gaussian channel. I told you many times, if we can find support around that midline, and then go up from there, that is very positive. But then we will reach the top of that Gaussian channel, and again, that one needs to be broken. And that one is now exactly around 46,700. So the moment we break that level, and we close the candle above the Gaussian channel, that is very positive, like you can see, because if you look to the left, the moment we break the top of that channel, we pull up, we come back, we restart it, test the channel top, and then you get a huge explosion. Very positive. The moment we are rejected by that top of the channel over there, we can fall all the way back to the bottom of the channel again. So if we would be rejected at this level, yes, we could fall all the way back to the bottom. But in my opinion, we are going to break out, retest that level, and then go up like that. That is what I prefer, of course, to happen. And now let's jump into the last two charts. Bam, over here. Really nice chart. This one is a supply shock ratio. And in the supply shock ratio, it's some kind of a mosquito. Um, we can see, wait, I need to draw over here. That this dotted line, the 55K area line. You can see this line over there. That is where we are now with the shock supply ratio. The price is way lower. We are now around 46K. So if we would be even with the supply shock ratio and balance, we would need to move up with the price, that gray line, to, to the 50K, 55K level over there. And then we are again in balance, like we crossed the lines over there you see and that is now what the price is trying to do it's trying to reach up to that blue line and the blue line is at 55 to 57 K and that is where the price needs to go to be in balance with the supply shock ratio and BAM and was my face again in the screen no it was perfectly <laughs> Didi, come on don't doubt yourself you're good Bam, over here. Then we have this chart that is the last chart of the day. Here you can see the Bitcoin spend output H bands. This is a seven day moving um, average. A very cool chart. Why? Because in this one, you can see, because a lot of people thought this is a bear trap. You know, this is a bear trap. Uh, it's like 2017, and they thought it would be like this area in 2017, where the bull market topped out over there topped out we fell down we came back up and then we fell down even further people think now that that is this area the bear bear trap and that we have this one over here topped out fall down go back and fall down like that so my opinion that is not right and why is that not right because in my opinion if you look in this period of time that um, that bear trap happened you can see that these huge peaks were there those red power red purplish peaks um, and that were the mass exits 
of the people from the market. So that's when the people exit the market, when they retrieve their bitcoins or sell their bitcoins. And that is what you see every time when the bear market happens or when you cap when there is a capitulation. We have these huge amounts of red purple levels. And you can see above what kinds of coins then are leaving the market. And that is not what we are seeing at the moment. There is no huge peaks. There is not huge levels of um, exits of people with their bitcoins. That is not happening. We are at very low levels. So, in my opinion, this is just the myth of the bull run that we saw over there a little bit. And that is exactly why we will see something like this after that we reached 100k, in my opinion. But, bam, that was everything for today. I want to keep it short and powerful. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this video, then please give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification. Wave and say hello to my pink, uh, what is that thing? Inflatable in the pool. Or um, to my, there, 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 there. <laughs> to my melon and the pool guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, uh, then give it a thumbs up. Uh, I wish you an amazing day and see you later again with a cool family video because yesterday we needed to go, hey Kayo! I don't know, one of these sites. Where do you want it to go? Okay, then we go there and there. <laughs> because yesterday we need to go to court for a few hours and I will tell you in the other video why. Thanks for watching guys and see you later again. Bye.